Hey guys, this is Aegis, and this is the final matchup, um, PVZ, and we over here have White Rom, one of my favorite Protoss players. His opponent is going to be Game of Drones, otherwise known as Liquid TLO, the little one. Uh, he's going to be playing, I'm going to call him uh, TLO or the Game of Drones, I'll probably use it both, uh, depending on what comes out of my mouth at the moment. And this is Korhal Compound, one of the new ladder maps. And um, we've covered all the other matchups, right? ZVZ, TVT, it was yesterday. First day was PvP. Uh, following that, we had uh, TVZ, I believe. And then the day after that was uh, TVP. And if that made no sense to you, just enjoy this game on Core Hall Compound. Uh, White Rod's going to be dropping his pylon up at the front. So he will be going for a relatively fast expand here. We'll probably see a forge shortly. And a game of drones over here going to be dropping his pool very early. That is a 10 pool. And we'll see if he's going to be able to do any damage here. White Rod is going to be scouting this and he will see the pool. As well as the very small number of drones. He's going to do some mining of his own from TLO's base. Maybe those five minerals will make a difference later on. White Raw is going to begin bothering those drones just to uh, keep them from mining at least a little bit. The pool will finish up, and TLO, I think he'll make six Zerglings to run across the field. And uh, Game of Drones is now making drones, so I guess uh, he's got those two larvae right now, so we'll probably at least see a few Zerglings to maybe put a little bit of pressure on. But uh, White Raw, there's six Zerglings coming out, so White Raw needs to get that cannon up as soon as possible. Um, but no, he's going to go for the Nexus. And uh, I guess he's banking on the fact that those Zerglings do actually take time to build. There are eight, there are four sets of Zerglings coming across right now. White Raw now building as cannon. He's going to need a gateway to close this off as quickly as possible. Maybe even pull a few probes off of mining, or he could be in a lot of trouble. The Zerglings are now advancing across the field. There's the gateway coming up, and White Raw looking to close this off. One more building over here as the cannon will, I think, barely finish up just in time. The cannon is finishing the... And there's the pylon being dropped. White Raw sealing that gap off, and the six Zerglings out in the field. I think they might be able to fight the Nexus. And the uh, probes getting lined up on the uh, high ground over here. White Rod making sure that the, the Zerglings will be delayed from running into his main. And uh, TLO now taking his natural expansion and building drones. And TLO is going to be bringing his uh, Zerglings forward. Looks like a, a, a gateway does get dropped right in the way. And that will prevent those Zerglings from running up the ramp into White Rod's main. And this does put White Raw in a relatively good position. He is going to be able to secure his natural expansion soon. As soon as this one Zealot pops out, uh, TLO is a little bit behind in terms of economy because his hatchery is so delayed due to that 10 pool. The Zealot is now out for White Raw, and without speed, that Zealot can also micro quite well against all of these Zerglings. White Rod getting out a second Zealot here to try to deal with those Zerglings, and the Zerglings going to be trying to poke in here to possibly do a little bit of damage, and that Zealot getting a little bit miscontrolled here, and White Rod trying to pull that back, and it looks like it does fall. The, z the few probes will be forced to fall back, and a Cybernetics Core now coming up for White Rod, and another Zealot coming out, and you can be sure that White Rod will not miscontrol this Zealot. More and more and more and more drones getting made by uh, TLO. And a third base is now on the way. He's playing catch up uh, with White Raw, who does have the uh, nice saturation at his uh, third, second base right now. We'll see what kind of pressure White Raw decides to put on after uh, being able to secure his uh, second base. He will need to try to stop TLO from uh, maximally utilizing the mining from the third base, or that will put him uh, slightly behind. White Earl looking like he's going to put on a little, bit, a little bit of pressure with these two Zealots. Going to be headed over to the bottom side of this map. White Earl dropping another pylon over here. Going up to three gas right now. 
Third base is now complete for uh, TLO. He's getting out a couple of additional Zerglings just in case. Two Queens on the way as well. Another uh, gateway coming up. Two, two additional gateways coming up for White Raw. And he's also got the uh, plus one ground weapons on the way. Two Zealots headed into the natural, the third base over here of TLO. They're going to try to pick off maybe a Queen or a couple of Zerglings. Looks like the Zealots will be forced to fall back, and the speed is now on the way for TLO. That's quite a bit of a delayed speed due to his 10-pool uh, rush there. Very nice micro there by TLO, making sure that none of the Zerglings get hurt or, uh, well, no, get killed. Looks like uh, White Run not, kill not killing as many Zerglings as he would have liked to. Roachhorn and Evo Chamber coming up for TLO. And a White Rock getting up his uh, Warp Gate research. It's just about finished. We'll likely see him put on a little bit, bit of pressure here as he does have uh, six gateways finishing up as well as that plus one. So he's going to be able to throw on a lot of gateway pressure at this third base. A uh, Spine Crawler does go down for uh, TLO. TLO now securing a food lead at 66 supply, but as soon as those warp gates kick in, White Raw will gain a, an advantage. We'll see what kind of units he decides to make. Probably a lot of zealots, I suppose, and maybe a couple of sentries to force field off these ramps. Cor uh, Korhal co compound does have uh, very interesting attack paths. There's a ramp over here, and you have to come up onto the high ground again here, so there's a, like a valley in the center of this map. Pylon is coming up for White Raw over here. Looks like the uh, Zerglings will uh, spot it just in time and be able to pick this off, and this will delay White Raw's pressure by quite a bit, and there's the uh, Elots now being warped in, and oh no, a couple of sentries may get picked off as well. Nice horse seals by White Raw, but that does use up the energy for later on and this does delay white Ross push a little bit game of drones tlo making 10 additional drones in the face of this pressure here another spine crawler coming up a couple of uh roaches now out on the field and it looks like a couple of few roach counterattack here from Game of Drones. Another uh, pylon coming up. White Raw has nothing back here right now. He's going to be pushing into this third base over here. And White Raw is in a little bit of trouble here. His units are all the way across the field. And the roaches coming in. Going to be able to kill off that cannon. But White Raw warping in a bunch of stalkers should be able to deal with this. And this does stem the tide of pressure from White Raw. Because he's been forced to use a whole warp in over here back at home. And the roaches are targeting, had it targeted down a couple of those probes. And White Raw being forced to retreat with a, a couple of his units here. Another warp in of stalkers. He, White Raw knows that he needs to keep this pressure up because this third base is coming into full effect right now. And TLO making 22 Zerglings. I don't think White Raw is going to be able to push in here. Maybe try to take a third base um, while he's pressuring this uh, third base of TLO. TLO making a couple additional Zerglings right now. He's He is on Lair Tech. He's grabbing another Evo Chamber. Um, very interesting to see that there's actually zero creep spread out of TLO as of the moment. A cannon does finish her White Rod just in time to deal with a bunch of uh, Zerglings uh, trying to bust down his front. A couple of Stalkers being warped in here to do the damage. Uh, necessary. It looks like White Raw is going to be forced to fall back with all of these units. The Cybernetics Core goes down. What a big hit. And these units from TLO are going to get trapped out here. Uh, not the best force fields out of White Raw. He does have Blink, so he will be able to chase after these drone, uh, these uh, roaches as they do have a speed. So looks like these roaches will be able to get away. Uh, in time and game of drones making 10 additional roaches as well as additional zerglings white are going to be pushing towards this location over here the stalkers uh their blink was on cooldown there so a couple of force fields going down force fielding off a couple of those uh, roaches but not the best force fields there tlo able to inch his forces forward and white Raw's forces are in quite a bit of trouble trying to blink micro back but the zerglings are just too good the roaches and the zerglings crushing forward white Raw down to 80 supply and almost zero of that is army supply uh, the stalker is trying to retreat as quickly as possible back towards this cannon uh, can he even make any stalkers right now? Yes, he can. He's making a seven right now. Looks like uh, they will blink behind to, to the defense of that cannon. 
TLO is taking a fourth base right now, and this game is running away from White Raw very rapidly. Unable to put on the pressure necessary to stop TLO from making so many drones. And over here, a robotics facility coming up for White Raw, possibly uh, going to try to get out a couple of immortals and just try to attack TLO. TLO now approaching max at 162 supply. White Raw going to be more warping and a couple additional units. Chrono boosting out a, a probe as well. And I believe he's going to begin by producing Immortals. Yeah, there's the Immortal coming out. He's going to try to uh, crush through, through TLO's army just once. Possibly take out a couple of bases to even this game up. But I don't think it's going to be that easy for White Run to do that. Force Field's going down, but the Roaches continue to stream in from all sides. The Zealots surrounded. The, there are no more Force Fields here. The uh, Stalkers blinking back in the base to save themselves, but the Roaches are going to be able to smash through this one cannon, and the Immortal will pop out just to get killed, and uh, TLO quickly focusing it down. White Raw in a ton of trouble. His main is uh, breached, and all of the Roaches running in here, White Raw's uh, Stalkers are going to fall very quickly, and this game is going to go to TLO, now doubling Almost doubling White Raw in supply. The drone, the probe's getting pulled off the line to fight as well. Chrono Boost going down on the gateways, trying to get out a couple of extra units, but it's just not going to be enough. And all of these Zerglings now streaming across the map as well. Natural expansions, uh, probes will all fall. They're actually target firing the Nexus. This game is over, and I bet White Raw knows it as well. And the Roach is now uh, getting cleaned up in the main, but the natural expansion does fall. There's the uh, fourth base fully up and mining for uh, TLO. He's just making mass of roaches right now. 17 roaches on the way. Even if this immortal does finish and come out to help, I don't think White Raw is going to be able to hang out on for much longer, especially once those 17 roaches arrive on the scene. White Raw running out of minerals inside of the main. He's even got a couple of idle probes there. Finally returning those guys to work. Another Roach does show up a little a little bit late to the party. Uh, TLO throwing a couple, uh, throwing away a couple of Roaches there. But his main army is still parked over here. A couple of Overlords, Speed Overlords flying across the map. Third base now on the way for White Raw. He's trying to get back into this into this game as uh, much as possible. The Infestation Pit is researching the pathogen glands, the Stalkers, and the uh, few units of White Rock getting caught out of guard, off guard in the middle of the map. A little bit of uh, micro going on over here. GG from White Rock, and this game goes to TLO, 200 supply to 63, beating uh, the uh, Special Tactics toss. And I'll see you guys on Saturday, March 16th, for yet another game in this, this series. Two weeks of a, a game a day.